back to business, boys. And it's not long before Henry's found some more motoring memorabilia to restore. I reckon this would be really nice. I'd love to do this. Are you serious? Oh, hello. Well, why not? Look at it. I don't mean like that. Look, just look around. The whole place is littered with them. Some of them restored, some of them not. This, mate, doesn't take much to return to how it was. It's beautiful. And Look, most importantly, it would raise not half as much as the bike, but it would raise good money for our Dick and his charity. There are times when our minds completely meet, and there are other times when we will never agree. The old dispenser is one of the times we will never agree. I promise you, you might just like it. No, I won't. Come on then, let's look for a little lamp for you. <laughs> Before oil was sold in cans, you'd buy it from a pump dispenser, much as you still buy fuel today. Highly collectible among enthusiasts, these can change hands for thousands of pounds. So Henry thinks this is a simple restoration with plenty of profit potential. When they're done, I love them but they're gungy, filthy things in the state we normally find them. So the cleaning them up is a messy job. Well, it is, and this one most especially. This, I tell you though, we've got to be so careful. Look at this. Well, I don't know we what want to do as with that. much of that as possible. Obviously, as it opens. There you go, now then. Horrible. More filth. Gunk. So the way to add value with this one, as you know, is keep it Original. Keep it original, clean it as best we can, and it is what it is. Trying to use a mixture of kind of grease remover and also uh, brake cleaner. Now, the brake cleaner seems to be working here. Light oil sprays, such as the brake cleaner used by Henry, are ideal for gently removing rust and grime without damaging the dispenser's ageing surface and can be picked up for a couple of quid from DIY stores. There's going to be a strange finish to this, I have to tell you. Just years and years of repainting green and then the green kind of discombobulating uh, with the workload and the weather. Uh, but look, that's not coming up too bad. And by the time we've finished, I think it's going to look swell. Henry's also busy with the electric polisher. To retain its value for collectors, it's important to keep as much of the original paintwork as possible. I think the best we can say for this is that it's looking a heck of a lot better than it was when we first got it. Guy's also buffed up the dispensing tap on the polishing mop and his hard work has paid off. Check out that little beauty. Oh, my word. Transformation, son. Oh, that is stunning. And after reattaching the tap, the work's complete. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That's lovely. Oh, I'm beginning to like it now. Beautiful. All dispenser fame. Somebody would love this. I know a lot of hot rodders that mm -hmm. would love this in their garage when they're doing up the hot rods and stuff. It still dispenses oil, so it has some function, not just sitting pretty, as it were. Mm -hmm. Using some spare green paint and plenty of elbow grease, Henry's given the oil dispenser a new lease of life without spending a thing. Best place to sell this would be an auto sale. Yeah. 90 quid. Do you know what? I was imagining between 80 and 100, mm. so bang on, really. The restored dispenser has managed to dispense a further 90 pounds in pure profit for Dick. 